H. pylori infection is quite common um, in certain parts of the world. It's 40% in Western world and it's almost 80% in India. The infection comes from contamination of water or food. For example, somebody is holding your cup and they gave it to you and the infection can be there and they start drinking, that can come. So it's nothing, nothing to worry, it's a very common infection, but it can make your symptoms quite worried for patients. They'll say, I've been well with gastric symptoms for a long time, why did I get it? So this basically increases more acid and cause symptomatic patients. So people who are symptomatic, they need to be eradicated. So for example, we took a biopsy uh, of the stomach, which showed uh, positive, like if you see here, can you get me a normal strip? Can you get me a normal strip? So if you see here, the, it's turning into the red color, which means that it's the urease positive organism. I'll just show you in a normal one, it, it should look like yellow in color. So normally this is a rapid test. It should be positive within the first five minutes, but it can take up to 24 hours from my experience. So I always tell the patients, if you look at the, these two, the one looks yellow and the other one looks red. So the red is positive and the yellow is where it should start. It has started from there. That's one thing. So should I have to treat this medication? Yes, sometimes if you are symptomatic, it does help your symptoms. And the treatment for that could be involving a course of uh, medications, which is, includes taking medications for seven days, or sometimes people give it for 14 days. So studies have shown up to seven days and re-review the symptoms and give the medication for them for the duration, or sometimes you do the culture. So how to explain to the patient is that it has seven strips in this one, as you could see here. And in these seven strips, uh, each strip has got a sun in the morning and a moon in the night time. So which contains three medications. They all should be taken at uh, one given time because it is uh, two antibiotics and one PPI. So they should be taken after they have food in the morning. So I normally warn the patient because uh, if you see the first tablet A called clarithromycin, which gives you a nausea type feeling or something stuck in the mouth, which is the nature of the medication. Number two is the, number C is the amoxicillin, which is a penicillin based antibiotic, which can make your stools look loose. So I do advise the patient that they are likely to get the symptoms and they tend to get better after you stop the medications. Despite this, patients do come back and say, I have the symptoms. So it's about the education and that's why I have to need, need to do this video. Second thing is uh, if patients getting recurrent H. pylori infection, uh, they might not be sensitive to the standard antibiotic, which most people are sensitive to 90% that we get eradication. Around 10% don't even respond to the standard medication. They need a different combination, which includes metronidazole or bismuth or various other components. So before I go on to that one, I normally do the cultures to say which antibiotic they are sensitive to, and then it's better to do that way. So uh, good luck and this is all about H. pylori infection. Thank you.